Food bank figures top 900,000. Trussell Trust. New figures from food bank charity the Trussell Trust show that almost three times as many people received its packages of three days emergency food and support in 2013-14 as did in the previous year. The number of adults and children receiving help increased by a staggering 163% rising from 346,000 to 913,000. Static incomes, rising living costs, low pay, underemployment and problems with welfare, especially sanctioning, are significant drivers of the increased demand, according to the Trussell Trust's report. 83% of Trussell Trust food banks surveyed recently reported that benefit sanctions, which have become increasingly harsh, have caused more people to be referred to them for emergency food. Half of referrals to food banks in 2013-14 were a result of benefit delays or changes. Yet, under this fucking coalition, we're still sending £1 billion a month overseas in overseas aid. We're still paying the EU £20 billion a year to be member of that club and to be told what we can and can't do by unelected bureaucrats in a far-off country. We're also paying £55 million a year in child benefits to children living abroad. And it was recently reported that we're also paying tax credits to migrants to the tune of £5 billion a year. Of course, any normal and sane government would do all it could to find out why the numbers are increasing. But not this bunch of fucking rich, privileged fuckwits. They just wanted to get rid of the figures because they absolutely couldn't give a shit about average Joe. They only care about issuing corporate welfare to their buddies in the name of large government contracts and about saving the banks and keeping the useless banking talent in this country by giving them higher bonuses, as high as they can get away with without public outcry. But the most disgusting part about this is that we will no doubt be able to find money for yet another war in the Middle East. Starting with ISIS, and then as I've said before, this war will then move to Syria. This is a war that numbnuts John Kerry says will last at least three years. How much will this new war cost? How many innocent people will be killed this time in the name of saving them? Why are we putting up with this? Why? When will the fact that people are starving to death in the UK, literally, when will this become a big enough issue that this government are going to start taking an interest? Will it be when food banks are helping 1 million people, 2 million, 5, 20 million? The level of tyranny you live under is the amount that you will put up with. And it seems in this country, we'll put up with an awful fucking lot.